What's up guys? So the other day something happened to me that bothered me so much and I couldn't stop thinking about it. It kept eating at me, kept bothering me and usually when, when situations like that happen, it, or happen it's, it's best for me just to come in, turn on the camera and talk and so that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I got an email from somebody who I consider and I still consider a friend who was talking about this product that they that they got involved with and it's an amazing product and it's this and it's that and and he wanted to know if he could talk to me about it and I'm like I think I know where this is going but okay so he calls me up and he tells me about this incredible opportunity and product that he's found and this is somebody who is smart who I respect, who I think is a sharp dude. And so it, it, it baffled me when he was sitting there pitching me a multi-level marketing product. And um, for those of you who don't know what multi-level marketing product is, it goes by a few different names like MLN, multi-level, AKA pyramid scheme. So he calls me up and I lead the conversation with, I'm just letting you know that I am definitely not interested if this is a multi-level marketing situation. And he's assured me that this is totally different. <laughs> 30 seconds later, I was hanging up the phone and, um, and I, I couldn't stop thinking about it, honestly, because there are a few reasons why it bothered me. Number one, it bothered me that the way that multi-level marketing is structured, for those of you who don't know, multi-level marketing is absolutely a legalized pyramid scheme. I don't even know how they're legal to be completely honest. The way that normal businesses work, you make a product, you sell it to customers. All right, Distribution, you sell it to stores, that's how it works. The way the multi-level marketing companies work is that they create a product, they then sell it to representatives. They sign you up to sell their products, but you're not selling it to retail establishments, you're selling it to your friends. You need to get people underneath you the pyramid thing underneath you they need to get people underneath them and you're gonna make so much money you're gonna be able to quit your job you're gonna be going in and just and, and they're, you're gonna be driving a, a BMW or a pink Cadillac or whatever as you move up the amazing corporate culture it's not a corporate culture it, it's a it's a scheme it's a scam Advocare, Herbalife, Visalis, um, Rhoda and Fields, um, Neek and Magnets I mean the list goes on and on and on they've been around for s forever and um and and they just change they morph you'll hear about one for a little bit it'll sort of do its thing run its course take a lot of money from a lot from a lot of good people and then it'll be gone and then something else will come and 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 they're everywhere and i really feel like with social media and the way that we consume things and and interact it's just going to explode because they sell you on the dream. They sell you on the idea that you're going to be your own boss, that you're going to be able to control your own schedule, take lots of vacations. They promise cars and, and amazingly fabulous lifestyles. When I was 19, I got sucked in to one called Cutco. Um, it was actually a thing that they, I saw a sign on, on, on a telephone pole. I was home from college and I was working for like $5 an hour and I saw this sign. It was yellow. It said $12 an hour college help wanted and so I called the number I go in and I sit down and I'm all nervous I'm all dressed up I'm like oh I'm gonna make $12 an hour plus potentially a lot more and you know they, they did an interview and they totally sold me on oh you're special and you're gonna be great and I ended up spending $300 for this set of knives the idea was that then I was gonna take these knives and go and set up appointments to sell them to all my friends and family in order to sell the knives you've got to buy buy the knives and then you go around and you do this little leather trick and cut the penny with these amazing scissors and I'm not saying it's a bad product and that's one of the things with a lot of multi-level marketing products is that they may be solid products it's not about the products at the end of the day it's about you signing up people under you to sell the products and them sign and it's just this it's 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 a humongous
f***ing scam. The other really shitty thing about multi-level marketing is that you've got to then go and try and sell people that you love, your friends, your family, your everybody, you're trying to get them, you're trying to sign up as many people and you're so excited and you're juiced, you're jazzed, you're like, yes, I'm finally going to make enough money to go in and piss on my boss. I know that, that, <laughs> that scams are everywhere. Everybody is trying to separate you, me, we from a dollar, our hard earned money. And that's kind of just the point. Money is not easy to make. If it was, everybody would have it. Money is difficult. You've got to be smart. You've got to work hard. And for all of these stupid ass multi-level marketing, ridiculous scams, it's all about the promise of easy money, easy lifestyle, things, flashy this and that. If somebody is trying to sell you on this, 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 this shiny object and that you're going to be able to do X, Y, and Z and you're going to make so much money, it is bullshit. There is no such thing as easy money. And anybody who tries to tell you that there's, there is, is lying to you. Or they're lying to themselves and either way, they're, they're an idiot. <laughs> and I just don't want you to fall into the same trap. And I also don't want you to be in a position to go and, and get all caught up in it. You go and you're at the pep rallies and you're cheering and you've drank the proverbial juice. And then you've got to go and sell your friends, your family, because guess what? they're going to end up being in the same position you are, which is broke and out money, and then they're going to blame nobody else but yourself. Actually, they should blame themselves for being gullible, but you, you've watched this video, so you've got no excuse. Gentlemen, do not fall prey to the promise of easy money. You're incredible, you're amazing, and you can do anything you want, but you got to work your ass off to get it.